Welcome back to the channel, guys. So today, guys, I want to do my uh, so today I wanted to do an Afcon video for you guys. This will be my last Afcon video for the year 2023. And I wanted to do a way to rank all the 24 nations. So shout out to Michael Tuck's football man. He actually made this uh, tier list. So shout out to him. It was actually the only one I could find on the internet. So uh, shout out to him. I did actually make some readjustments to the rankings. Um, I actually rearranged the, uh, the nations to alphabetical order uh, just, uh, just, to, just to keep everyone on the same page. And yeah, man, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So please remember to like and subscribe, of course. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. So let me just go ahead and give away what the tiers are like. And then we're going to actually start with the rankings. So S is basically the best. A is like really good. B is like good. C is like C is like average. And D is like terrible. So starting with Algeria. Algeria is the first nation here. And I'm sorry, Algeria goes instantly to D. They were so bad. They went out of the group stage. Now, I don't think Algeria were as bad as like some other nations were, but they couldn't get out of the group stage. Like that, that's simply unacceptable for a nation that caliber. And remember, this was the this they went out of the group stage consecutive editions. They were, um, you know, and um, I, I thought Algeria were just poor. They were just poor. You got to put them in the D category. There's no excuses whatsoever for a nation of this caliber to still have players like Mars still start for the national team is a disgrace because Mars is finished. I'm sorry. Mars is finished. That guy is tr trash. I'm sorry. The guy is awful. Uh, they got to stop using old players like when Adia has to go. I could go on and on, but the point I'm trying to make here is Algeria is a D. Uh, there's nothing more to say. Angola, for me, is easy. They made the quarterfinals of AFCON. I believe the last time in their quarterfinals was in 2010, so it's been a long time for them, so 14 years in history. And they unfortunately weren't able to get to the semis, which would have been amazing. Um, so I think I'm going to put Angola in the B category. I thought they did really good. They did punch above their weight. You know, they did defeat a scalp like Burkina Faso. And I managed to get a draw against Algeria. So I think you got to put Angola in B. I think Angola in B is very, very obvious. Burkina Faso, man, I was very unimpressed with Burkina Faso. They were very, very underwhelming this tournament. I know they made the round of 16. If you look at the results, they didn't really play well at any game besides, I guess, the Mauritania game. Because Algeria, man, as bad as... Because for me, Algeria were the better team for most of the game. It was just... Algeria just made stupid mistakes. And then that game against Angola, they looked hopeless. They didn't look like anything. And then that game against, uh, what was it called... Um, uh, Mali in the round of 16 was disgraceful. Like, they were so bad for, like, literally most of the game, and they almost managed to make a comeback. So, yeah, I'm going to have to put a Burkina Faso in C. I can't really put them anything higher than a C because I was even tempted to put them in D, but they at least got a win, and at least they made the round of 16. So that's why I can't put them in D, but they're on the brink of being a D, honestly. I'm very, very on the brink. Next is Cape Verde. I thought Cape Verde were fantastic. I thought Cape Verde were fantastic in this tournament. They managed to defeat Ghana, get a result against Egypt. They defeated Mauritania. They got, uh, defeated Mozambique. And they took South Africa all the way to penalties. They took South Africa all the way to penalties. And you have to give them that respect. So I think for me, Cape Verde, for me, instantly should be a B. It's just a matter about how high do I be. Do I put them above Angola or do I put them worse than Angola? I think Cape Verde actually did better than Angola. I think Cape Verde did better than Angola, honestly. Uh, they only lost on penalties. So, you know what? I'm going to put Cape Verde above this, uh, Angola. I thought Cape Verde were better than Angola. But you can make argument Angola were better, but I, I think it's tight. Cameroon, for me, I'm sorry. They were average. They were terrible this tournament. Like, um, what is it called? So, they started the campaign with the 1-1 draw against Guinea, a game which they should have won, especially considering they had a man advantage. Then they have a terrible loss to Senegal, Onana, Disaster class, of course. <laughs> and then, obviously, the next game they had, of course, was it against um, uh, Gambia. They made it too close for comfort. They got the job done. And then they had a terrible loss to Nigeria. So, yeah, for me, man, Cameron's a C. Cameron is a C. I, 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 they were very, very poor. Now, which team was worse, guys? Cameroon or Burkina Faso? I would actually say Burkina Faso was slightly better because at least Burkina Faso were somewhat convinced around the 16. Cameron looked really bad throughout this tournament. Like, I'm sorry. Even in that win they had against Gambia, they weren't that great, you know. So, yeah, I, I'm going to put Cameroon. I thought Burkina Faso were better. Next up is Ivory Coast. Obviously, Ivory Coast is the champions of AFCON. you got to put them in S. Now, if they if you go throughout the tournament, do they deserve to be S? Probably not. They're probably like a B or A thing. But because they won the AFCON, you got to put them in S. You just have to put them in S. They're the champions for crying out loud. And, yeah, man, so Ivory Coast, man, what a story this is for them to go out, nearly go out the group stage of your own tournament and your own soil to actually win the tournament like a Disney Plus story, going out at 10 men against Mali, defeating the defending AFCON champion Senegal, 
and then beating a team like Daryl Conway that just refused to lose. Like it, it's it was it's just like a fairy tale story of what Ivory Coast did. And it's gonna be a story we're gonna look back for many years from now. Like when we look at the previous AFCONs, this will be one of the most eventful ones we've had in a long time. And a lot of those come down to the fact that how Ivory Coast won it. So Ivory Coast for me instantly an S. Like I said, I don't think they were the I don't think they uh, I don't think like if you just go by performances alone, I wouldn't say an S, but you could tell that this team has improved throughout the tournament. So for me, I think they were the best team in this tournament. So you gotta put them as no no doubt whatsoever with that. DR Congo, I thought DR Congo was fantastic. I thought they had a very good tournament. You know, they only lost one game in 90 minutes, which is incredible. And they were just drawing. But the issue with DR Congo, though, is that as good as they were, they were tying a lot of games. They were tying a lot of games, which is the reason why I don't know how highly I'm going to rank them in the A, because they're definitely going to the A. It's just, I don't know where I'm going to specifically put them in the A. Obviously, we'll see when we get to the other three uh, semifinals. But yeah, DR Congo for me were fantastic. Like, they were fantastic. They defeated each of them on penalties. Uh, then obviously in the quarterfinals, they defeated Guinea. Um, in the semifinals, lost to eventual winners, Ivory Coast. And then obviously they did lose the third place game to South Africa. And then obviously the group stage, they had Morocco. They got a draw against Morocco. They had a draw against Zambia. And then they had a draw against Tanzania. So yeah, very, very impressive stuff for Dio They just refused to lose, refused to lose. Next up is Egypt. Egypt for me had a very disappointing tournament. Uh, let's be real, guys. Egypt, even though they didn't lose a single game, they were very disappointing. They tied all four of their games. And I just thought Egypt, for me, just looked really, really underwhelming. Now, I know a lot of that came down to the fact that Salah didn't really play. Salah was injured for most of the Egypt matches during the AFCON. I still feel like, though, for Egypt, like I just feel like they were just underwhelming this tournament. Now, I will say they were a slightly better than Burkina Faso Cameroon because at least they put up good full performances all four games. But they were just defensively terrible. Defensively, they were leaking too many goals. And you can tell this team really needs Salah. Like, like people say, oh, look, Egypt's doing better without Salah in the group stage. But when it came time to the round of 16, we saw this team really does need Salah. This team really does need Salah, and he's that big difference maker. So, Egypt, for me, I'm going to put them in C. I'm going to put them above Burkina Faso Cameroon, in my personal opinion. But, you know, it's it's up, it's up to you guys, how you guys feel. Equator Guinea. I thought Equator Guinea had a fantastic AFCON. They start off the campaign with a big, big a draw against Nigeria. They were actually able to hold on to a point, which actually turned out to be very, very valuable for them. Then they got the big, big win against Guinea-Bissau. And then we all know to this day, they beat the host nation, Ivory Coast, 4-0. It was insane. And then the round of 16, man, they had the disastrous loss to Guinea. So for Ivory, for Equator or Guinea, um, where do I put them, guys? Where do I put them? Because I'm I'm, ten, I'm not sure, guys. I'm conflicted. Do I put them in the B or do I put them in the C? As of right now, I'm going to say... I think I'm going to put them at B, but it's just about. I'm going to put them just about the B. I'm kind of being ben I'm kind of being um, generous here. I just feel like for me, for Agatha Guinea, I just thought they had some really big wins, you know. But it's just that that game against Guinea, man. They, they I'm, I'm sorry, that game against Guinea, they should have done better. So I'm going to put them at B, but it's really generous. You could put them at C if you want. I just think that I just think to beat the host nation by that big of a margin. That, that, that's just insane. That's just too insane. So, yeah, I'm going to put them in B, but, man, you can make an argument if you could be in C. I'll put them, like, just about in the B category. They're, like, one of the... They're, like, the worst or end of B. I would put them in, like, B minus, probably, I would say. Gambia. Uh, I thought Gambia had a decent tournament. You know, they had... Uh, obviously, they were in a very difficult group. Obviously, they didn't pick up a single point in the group stage. But we have to keep things in perspective. This was a team that was a lot more defensively liable than the previous Gambian team. And obviously, the group is very difficult. You had the defending AFCON champions. You had Guinea that played really well, got to the quarterfinals. And obviously, Cameroon. We know the heritage that Cameroon have. So, for Gambia, it was always going to be difficult for them to get out of the group. I think many of us expected them to get out. Uh, many, of them many of us expect them to finish bottom, finish with zero points, and finish bottom. So, I think for Gambia, I'm going to put them above Algeria because at least... Well, actually, no. I can't put them above Algeria. Uh, I'll put them below, but, man, it's just hard. So i got to put them there. i got to put them Gambia. And D, unfortunately. Uh, next up is Ghana. Ghana. Oh my jeez, Ghana. Um, where do I even begin with Ghana? This was embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. Because the defense was so garbage. Making those individual mistakes. Because I believe in every single game they played in, there was a guy there was one player that at least made an error to what uh, the, the goals every goal that's been scored for the, for that's been scored against Ghana. 
Because the attack, believe it or not, wasn't that bad. Like, the attack was decent, to be fair. But it was just the defense. And I'm sorry, Ghana has to go in a D. I'm just debating who's which one was worse, Algeria or Gambia or Ghana. I'm going to say... I feel like... I feel like, for me... At least with Algeria, I at least say they did play well in two of the three games. Ghana really didn't play well at any of the three games. I... I can't believe I'm saying this. Like, they didn't play well any of the three games. Maybe against Egypt, I would give them something. But, yeah, they were terrible against Cape Verde. And even though they had the 2 nil lead against Mozambique, they weren't great in that game. And then, obviously, they screwed up at the end. So, yeah, I, I'm going to actually put Guyana and D. And I'm going to say Gambia actually performed better. Because at least with Gambia, they were in a very difficult group and we didn't have high expectations. Whereas Ghana, we had high expectations for. I mean, you have Mohamed Kudos for crying loud. Guinea, I thought had a good tournament. I thought Guinea were fin- had a good, decent tournament. Obviously, they started the campaign with a one-one draw against Cameroon, which they got to give credit for for st- hanging on to a point even down a man. And then obviously they had that uh, very, very important win against um, Gambia, and then they put up a decent showing against Senegal. Only lost two 0 They didn't defeat Equatorial Guinea, and then in the quarterfinals they were pretty much outmatched against your Congo. So. For Guinea, I have to put them in B. I think I'm going to put them in B. It's just about how high of a B do I put them in. Do I put them... I think I'm going to put them over Equatorial Guinea just for the fact they beat them. Um, But yeah, I mean, it's it's tight. It's tight. Um, let's Yeah, let, let's put them above Equatorial Guinea since they did beat them in round 16. Guinea-Bissau. I thought Guinea-Bissau were really underwhelming this tournament. Now, I don't think they were as bad as people make them out to be because they did put up some competitive showings. But you can tell what the you can tell this team is just defensively very very suspect. I think that's my big takeaway from Guinea Bissau is that this team is defensively very very sketchy. Uh, that is one thing I I will say that I think that they have to improve going forward is that if Guinea Bissau wants to do well in the Afcon, they have to improve that defense because that defense is just so sketchy. They concede too many goals, and so yeah, I think for me for uh, Guinea Bissau they they put up some good showings. Like I I will give them that. They did put put up some good performance. Like I, could, I thought against Nigeria, they were decent. I think against uh, what is it called? Equatorial Guinea, they actually had a good game. It's just that defensively they were just too bad. And then obviously against Ivory Coast, they had their chances. So you know what? This might come as a controversial opinion, but I think I'm gonna put Guinea Bissau over Ghana. I'm gonna actually do that right now. I actually, I actually do feel like they did better in my opinion. The next up it is, I believe that is Mali. Yes, I believe that is Mali. Um, Mali for me had a. Uh, Mali had a good tournament, I would say. I mean, made it to the quarterfinals. They lost to Ivory Coast in a very good, dramatic fashion. So you have to give them that credit. Um, and I'm just trying to think, where do I put them? Do I put them in B or A? I think, I think A, I can't put A. I think A is way too high. So I'm going to put them in B. Because they played well this tournament. But the issue with Mali, and I've said this before, guys, is that this team just doesn't score enough goals. They don't. And that's my big concern I had. That's a, one of the big reasons why I didn't think Mali would do so well this tournament because of how how la- the, the, their goal scoring has been so, so limited. Right? So I think I'm going to put Mali. I think the, the thing with Mali is that they didn't beat any teams. They didn't beat any teams they weren't expected to beat. Like Cape Verde did and Gola did. Mali didn't do that. Mali didn't beat a team that I was like, oh, wow, they actually did. Like, I know people are going to say Burkina Faso. Which was kind of a surprise, to be fair, but like, Burkina Faso isn't as big of a team as like you know Ghana, um, and obviously, uh, um, what is it called, uh, Algeria, right? Obviously, Ghana, Algeria, have more heritage than Burkina Faso. So, yeah, I think for Mali, I'm gonna put them in. I think I'll put them over Guinea. I think I'll put them over Guinea because at least they showed some. Sh- as they at least showed up some signs against obviously Ivory Coast. They, they lost in dramatic fashion, and I still feel bad for that coach. I mean, those memes, man, those memes. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna move on from that. Martinia, I thought Martinia had a good tournament. They obviously made it out of the group stage for the first time ever. They defeated a major, major scalp as in Algeria. So. Uh, but the issue is that they went on the round of 16, though. So do I put them Do I put them in B? Because I'm actually tempted to, to be fair. Because they played really well in all, all, all four of the, all, all the games they played in AFCON. You know what, guys? I'm going to put them in B. 
I, I'm going to put them in B because I thought they were pretty good in, throughout the tournament. And even though they did lose a round of sixteen after doing so, after beating one of the one of the big big one uh, after beating Algeria, you have to keep in mind that this is a team that only advanced for the first time ever, and they played all four well, pretty good games. So yeah, you know what? I'm gonna put I'm, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Martini and B. I'm I'm putting Martini and B. I'm gonna say that now. Do I where do I put them? Do I put them above Extra Guinea? Yeah, I, you know what? I think I'll put them above Extra Guinea because I thought they were great. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, next up it is Morocco. Guys, Morocco is one of the big flops of the tournament. They they didn't do well this tournament. They should have at least made the quarterfinals. And the fact they went out in the round of 16 is very disappointing. To a team, let's be real, they should be beating. Right? So, I think for Morocco, they just were overly hyped. I think, like, the issue with Morocco is that they... And I said this before, guys, is that the AFCON and World Cup is just two different things. Though AFCON, there is more... there There was more expectation or more pressure because... The World Cup, you guys didn't have any pressure. Morocco didn't have any pressure whatsoever for the Afcon World Cup. Whereas the Afcon, there is immense ton of pressure to perform and expectation, as well as the fact they're going to be more on the front foot because the World Cup, they were obviously playing defensive. They weren't playing the front foot. They were playing with less possession. Here in the World uh, Afcon, they were playing with more possession, and you could tell the players just weren't used to it. You know, and it was kind of like um, it's kind of like similar to Japan in a sense, uh, where Basically, this team is better as a counter-attacking team than as a team that plays with possession, if that makes any sense. So I think for Morocco, they disappoint this tournament. They kind of have to put them as C. Now, where do I put them as C specifically? I would say, I think, you know what, guys? I'm going to actually, I think Egypt were actually better than Morocco. I, I, I thought Egypt were better than Morocco throughout this tournament. Because, yeah, Morocco, uh, they did score three goals against Tanzania, two of which came down against Tanzania when they were down to 10 men. Then they both, then they had that 1-1 draw against Dio Congo. Then obviously they had that 1-0 uh, win over Zambia. And then they obviously had, had lost 2-0 to South Africa. So yeah, you know what? I thought Egypt were good. I, I thought, yeah, you know what? I'm going to put Egypt over Morocco. I think I'm fair, confident in saying that. Mozambique, obviously, they didn't have a great tournament. But you got to give them credit. They obviously did get two draws against two powerhouse nations like Egypt and Ghana. So I think that's, that's respectable. So for that reason, I think I'm going to put them in the D. Because it went out of the group stage, but it's like a really high end dish. It's like a D plus, if that makes any sense. So I'm trying to think, where do I put them? Uh, I think Alger. I think I'm gonna put Mozambique. You know what? I'm gonna put Mozambique over Algeria. I thought Mozambique were very, very close. Like I thought they put some good games. Basically, the, if they didn't have that drumming loss to Mozambique, sorry, Cape Verde, they could have made the round of sixteen. They could have made the round of sixteen. It's just that. They got destroyed in that game, and that pretty much wrecked up, destroyed all their hopes of qualification there. Nigeria, obviously Nigeria had a good tournament, made it all the way to the final. Uh, they had a fantastic tournament, you know, lost out to eventual winners. Uh, defensively, they were very solid. I thought their defense was great. The attack was kind of underwhelming, though, to be fair. And the midfield was... <laughs> the less said about the midfield, the better. <laughs> so I think I'll, I, you got to put Nigeria in A. And where do I put them in A? I th you know what, guys? I thought DR Congo was better than Nigeria. Even though DR Congo didn't make the final, I thought DR Congo actually played better. I thought Nigeria, for me, I don't think they were that great, in my opinion. And I just thought they were just, I just thought the, the opposition was just underwhelming. Like Cameron wasn't that great, as we just saw. Angola, that's a team they should be beating. And South Africa, they only beat them on penalties. So, yeah, I, you know what? I, I think I think DR Congo had a better tournament. South Africa, man, fantastic. Shout out to South Africa because. This is a team that many of us clowned before the AFCO. Many of us said this team, eh, round of 16 and maybe most. And the fact they made it all the way to the semifinals is actually very impressive. You have to give Hugo, Bru Hugo Boos, Bruce his credit. He did a very good job with the team. And the team is very much local based players. So you have to give them massive credit. And South Africa, man, they did really well this term, especially defensively. I thought defensively were very good. I thought attacking-wise, they weren't that great, which is kind of the big issue I have with South Africa is that attacking-wise, they have to improve. But defensively, they were very, very good this tournament. So I think I'm going to put South Africa. I, I, You know what? I'm going to put South Africa over Nigeria. Because South Africa did defeat a major scalp like Morocco. That was one of the AFCON favorites. So you got to put them there. Senegal. Ugh, this is a difficult one with Senegal, guys. Because Senegal had a great tournament. They made it all the way. Uh, they went out of the round of 16. After having an amazing group stage. So... For Senegal, they definitely did underperform, but I just think that I I th I just think that Ivory Coast just wanted it more. I think it was more of that case that I think Ivory Coast just wanted it more than Senegal. But yeah, I think Senegal were very unlucky. I, I actually do feel bad, so I'm gonna put Senegal. 
I think they're the best team, best C team. Like, uh, like they were. I, I, I just can't put them anything higher than a C, just because they, they, so they, many people had them to go farther in the tournament. Tanzania, obviously, you gotta put them in the D. They were very, very underwhelming in this tournament. But to be fair, though, they did actually get two draws against uh, Zambia, DR Congo. But it's just that have ha, have the hammering loss to obviously Morocco basically destroyed their hopes of qualification there. And yeah, I thought uh, Tanzania were very, very poor. Uh, but they did improve as the tournament went on defensively. They showed some resilience. But attacking-wise, they're not very good. So I think I'm going to put Tanzania uh, maybe above maybe be above Gambia. Tunisia, I thought, were very poor. I thought Tunisia were very poor for most of the tournament. They were terrible against Namibia. Um, actually, well, I didn't even rank Namibia, so I don't know why they're there. Um Um, actually, let's do Namibia now. Namibia, for me, I thought Namibia had a great tournament. I thought Namibia had a great tournament. They made it all the way to round 16. Um, so I think for Namibia, I think I'm gonna put them as C. Actually, I should want to put them at B because they did beat Tunisia. That is a that is a big that's like one of the big teams in Africa. So But they did get destroyed against Angola. They did get destroyed against South Africa. And they did only get a draw against Mali. So uh, I can't put them in B, actually. I don't think about it. They conceded too many goals. So I'm sorry. I can't put them in B. I'm going to put them at, like, just... Uh, actually, no, Alistair. Okay, sorry. I don't know why, guys. My, thing, my cursor keeps moving. So... I'm gonna put Namibia just be uh, just above, uh, above Burkina Faso, Cameroon. I think that's fair. Okay, getting back to Tunisia now. Tunisia, I thought had a good turn. Uh, Tunisia, I thought had a bad tournament. I'm sorry, they were terrible. They had that bad loss against Namibia, which that was a game which they should have been winning. And then they then they were just terrible against Mali. They were lucky to get a draw. Uh, then they had that game against South Africa, which I, I, yeah, I don't know, man. Like Tunisia looked really underwhelming. I don't know what's up with their attack. They just looked hopeless. They looked, they just looked passive, and they just didn't look great. I'm sorry, Tunisia had an awful tournament, guys. Like we clown a Ghana, but does Tunisia? I can't believe doing this, guys. But I think Tunisia might be the worst team in the Afcon. I think Tunisia might actually be the worst team in the Afcon. I didn't think I would be saying this, but the only saving grace with Tunisia is that at least defensively they weren't too bad. But my goodness me, that attack was garbage. That attack was horrendous. Okay, final nation we got here is Zambia. Zambia, Zambia, Zambia. Um, actually, I'm gonna put Namibia over um, uh, Morocco. Actually, yeah, 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 I think I'm settled with that. Okay, Zambia, ah, oh, very disappointing for the nation with the players like Daka and Sakala. They didn't do well. You know, um, they start off the they start off the game with the one one draw against Zero Congo, which they were lucky to get a draw, in my opinion. Then they had that game against Tanzania, which they should have been winning. Credit to them though, they did manage to get a draw from a losing position and down a man. But then obviously the final game was against Morocco, which was always going to be uphill because let's be real, they were never going to beat Morocco. So I think for Tanzania, very disappointing. Uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to think where do I put them at? Where do I put them? I think I'll put them above Ghana. I think I'll put them above Ghana. I think I'll put them above Ghana. But yeah, man, this was tough. This was tough, guys. There was a lot of close calls I had to make. There were some I was very kind of just being beneficial there, kind of giving the benefit of the doubt. Some of those ones I was like, I wanted to put higher, but I just couldn't. So this is my final list of this year's AFCON, man. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. And yeah, man, so please remember to like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any disagreements. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.